Might be a little risky, but I'll try and moor the Grand Cipher to that platform at the summit. Look alive, people. Right. This is no time to be timid. The very fate of the skies depends on us. Not to mention Belial must be here. He practically handed us an engraved invitation. It's time we settled the score with him once and for all. Yeah! He won't get away with rewriting creation on our watch! This is it, everyone. The skies are counting on us! I've been waiting, Singularity. <gasps> so, you finally came. I did my best to get you excited for this. Would you say... <sighs> had enough foreplay? I'm eager for the night to really begin. You deviant! What are you thinking? You know what Beelzebub's return means for the skies! Is this really what you want? Chaos on every island? The corruption and destruction of this entire world? Yeah! We won't let you get away with it! No, no. You've got me all wrong. This wasn't how I wanted things to go at all. The grand finale I... No, we wanted was much cleaner. But no use fretting over spilled chaos. I can still make something beautiful out of this. You arrogant little... We whooped you once. You think we can't do it again? Be careful, everyone. Ran, something feels off about this. Yeah, something definitely stinks. You can never tell what this weirdo will do next. Not that. It's not him. I'm sensing something... else. <gasps> what is it? Don't leave me in the dark. Hmm? Morning, bubs. Sleep well? You look a little... overexcited. <laughs> Did you just... stick me with chaos matter? I pierced your core. Even you won't come back from that. Return to nothing, and give my regards to Lucilius. Oh, bubs, how could you? <sighs> And after I tried so hard to... Hey! Just what the heck is going on? Uh... Is Pandemonium falling? Well, shoot. Let's not go down with it. Everybody back to the Grand Cipher. But what about those guys? I don't think Avatar is about to let us go peacefully. I will topple pandemonium to the crimson horizon. The shock waves will destroy the boundary between dimensions and obliterate both worlds. You brought chaos to the sky to by manipulating people's memories. Then you drove primal beasts to madness. Why are you causing all this suffering? I know you've noticed the corruption of causality spreading from pandemonium. Whopping causality loosens the threads that stitch memories together. Soon, I will dismantle not only that, but matter itself, and the very rules which govern it. And then, I will rebuild it all. In the new world, I will be the font of all order. All creation will flow as directed by its undisputed sovereign. The thunder of Pandemonium's fall will herald the dawn of my reign. So, knocking Pandemonium down to the Crimson Horizon will reset the whole world? Can't really wrap my head around all the mumbo-jumbo he was spouting. He sure looks like he believes it. It can't possibly be true. Bubs' grand finale might sound similar to what Lucilius envisioned. But it's fundamentally different, be that as it may. They both start from the same place. If you open that door, which will you find on the other side? Which grand finale will you step into, Singularity? Or can you find a third option? You bet I can! I won't let anyone end the world! We'll never give up! Not even if the apocalypse is breathing down our necks! The world does 
doesn't belong to any one person. It belongs to everyone who lives in these skies! There are countless lives at stake. You don't get to decide what to do with them, just so you can recreate the world as your plaything. Not while there's still breath in my body! Red Dragon. Girl in blue. Singularity. The inescapable chains of causality have brought you all here to Pandemonium Summit. On this day, at this hour, at this very moment, all things will coalesce, and I, in turn, will subsume their totality. We stand a mere breath away from inevitability. You are helpless to stop this fusion. You will be the first to feel Oblivion's embrace. certainly looks like it. The wind, the scent of the grass. What's going on? The last thing I remember, Pandemonium was crumbling and taking us with it. <sighs> right. We were on top of Pandemonium, and it was falling to the Crimson Horizon. So what the hell happened after that? If Pandemonium had actually fallen, the world would have been reset, right? But it looks like this island and the town are all right. Does that mean Pandemonium didn't fall? Maybe we can get some more information from the townspeople. Come one, come all! Got a new shipment of fabrics, softer and more lustrous than any silk you've ever seen! Everything seems peaceful. Almost like none of that ever happened. Couldn't have been a dream, could it? <laughs> Don't be silly. Well, if it isn't Gran and the Grand Cypher crew. Sierra. I'm glad to see you looking well. Things seem to have settled down all over the Skydom, too. I assume we have you to thank for that. The islands are all back to normal? Does that mean the power changing the skies is gone? Because we prevented Beelzebub's revival? Hmm? Is something wrong? Oh! Before I forget! About the food and water for the Grand Cypher. The Grand Cypher is here? In Port Breeze? Don't you remember? You dug just up the road. She was still moored there when I passed by earlier. Oh yeah, of course. No, wait, what? what? The Grand Cypher was moored to Pandemonium. Yes. This doesn't add up. I'm worried about Rosetta and Eugen. If the Grand Cypher is really here, then can we go check on them? Peace. Guess you handled whoever started this mess, huh? We haven't had any visits from weird machines or angry goddesses lately, so that's a relief. Although now, something else fishy is going on. Seems like a lot of people's accounts of what happened recently don't line up with each other. Their memories don't match. It's kind of a mess. Got any idea what might have caused it? 
It appears that you prevented Beelzebub's return. I knew you could do it. It might be a bit too early to celebrate, though. I have a feeling this isn't over just yet. Strange things have been happening here, too. Changes in the shape and nature of this forest. It's as if two once diverging forests have converged. Their ever-growing roots and branches now entangled like never before. So our misgivings weren't misplaced. The unnatural incidents all over the Skydom have stopped. But... but things aren't back to normal like Eugen and Rosetta said. People's memories not lining up, and the forest being all mixed and matched. It doesn't seem like anything too awful right now, but... Beelzebub's power has disappeared, and they can't sense him anymore. Can't say I'm satisfied with this. Do we put a bow on it anyway? <gasps> this flippy hair! Splendid work defeating Beelzebub. Unfortunately, the world still finds itself in a complicated state of affairs. What do you mean? You could say that the world has... whiplash. From the recoil that occurred when Beelzebub's power receded, and the laws of causality returned to normal, the balance may be stable for the moment, but there are faint tears in the fabric of causality in time. Those discrepancies are almost certain to invite further chaos, sooner or later. Is that why people's memories are clashing? And the forests have changed? No. And just what happened to us? How did we get to Port Breeze? My memories of that final moment at Pandemonium are also unclear. When I regained my senses, I was lying on a nameless, deserted island. I'm sorry. If Beelzebub's influence over the skies is gone, that should mean he's powerless, so we don't have to worry about the Sky Realm being reset anymore. Still, I feel like we're overlooking something incredibly important. What would you call this? Reincarnation? A time leap? No. Neither of those quite fits. Shame those fake wings couldn't get you where you wanted to go, bubs. You could have just been satisfied with Celius's dark legacy. But no. You had to turn yourself into that monstrosity. Create those wings that rent whatever they touched. What did you need wings for, anyway? In a world without archangels? Lousy timing for this place to snap back to normal. Not to mention Bubs went and vanished without a word. I can't help feeling a little used. I don't even want to know what he'll do to me if he comes back. But maybe in this new world, I'll have a little more luck searching for Celius. I guess Versus is mine to play with now. Well, bye. <laughs>